Today, we're going to take a look at summary blocks in Squarespace. In particular, just how powerful a feature this is, especially when you start growing your website and it becomes more than 10 or 15 pages. So to start off, I thought I'd show you some examples of summary blocks and I'm on the Pixel Haze Academy website here. And this is actually a carousel summary block, meaning that we can choose how many items we have per row. We can also keep it nice and consistent between each one. We've added a little bit of custom code just to lift the blocks as we hover over them. Just as a little bit of feedback. One thing you'll notice with carousels is the moment this was showing more than four items, we'd have some arrows in the top right hand corner that would allow us to flick back and forth between the content in the summary block. In this case, I've locked it down to just show four. Now I'm going to flip over to the Pixel Haze store. This wasn't actually designed to be an upsell for our existing websites, but these are just examples that are easiest to show you how we use some versatility with the, the content. So we've got two different types of summary block here. We've got a carousel, which has the slider. And I think we've got about 12 on oh no, 13. We've probably got 16 in total, a maximum of 16 to show. And that's why we've got 13 templates on there. We can also decide then what information we want to show. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Then as we go to the plugin section, not only do we have two rows in this case, this is a grid block. We can also see additional information like which products are on sale and also a quick view option as well. For each one, separately I've added buttons in to show the full libraries. So users can flick through the most recent entries and they can go back and look at the full shop area itself. Heading over to our studio site, and we'll scroll down a, f a fair bit as well. I've actually created a article on lists in Squarespace, which is a relatively new feature. And that's what this is with an infinity scroll across, meaning that we've got the same content, but it just provides a nice little bit of interactivity. That's different uh, to summary blocks, mainly in that summary blocks will feed through content from elsewhere. So these are three new stories that automatically feed through to the home page and then we can flick through each post so in this case we've got three per row okay heading over to one of our client websites farmer in training children's farming books and here we scroll down towards the bottom of the page and here we've got another carousel showcasing products so if we wanted to look at this baseball cap, we could quick view. And here we've got essentially the bulk, if not all of the product page available, even with the option to toggle the color and choose the attributes to add to cart. Really nice nifty feature. Heading over to our final example of how summary blocks are going to be used. This here isn't a summary block. This is a gallery that's been customized with a little bit of custom code to show these tags in here. But this is a summary block, which again has that ease in, ease out feature, but also we've designed it in a card format. So when we've got a slightly off white background, we've got the white cards that cut in really nicely to it and provide it with more of a news website or a magazine style. With this particular effect, we are in the process of cr creating and packaging this up as a plugin, and it will be available on the Pixel Haze store very soon. Again, we've got the option to view all posts, which is created separately. Okay, so there's some examples of summary blocks in use. We've got an example here of a plugin on the Pixel Haze store. This is a Merlon plugin. If you're wondering why we called it that, Merlons are the top of the stone wall on a castle that given the space for archers to shoot out over in our nerdy nature we decided to use that name because that's what this reminded us of so here we've got that every other almost like stitch pattern effect that when you hover over it it aligns them all correctly and that's available for just $9.99 on the pixel haze store Anyway, that's enough selling. 
let's head back to our Academy site and let's show you how we add a summary block. I don't want to actually do it in the primary navigation. Let's head down to not linked and add a blank page down there. So this is Squarespace 7, not 7.1, but the good news is summary blocks work almost identically in both. In fact, I can't think of a difference between summary blocks between 7 and 7.1. If you're on the latest 7.1 version of Squarespace, this will look very, very familiar. Once I've created two lines here that have allowed me to quickly create two separate columns, and now I can click on that plus in the blue oval, and I'm going to go down to summary block, and I've got two tabs. So I'll bring this window up into focus. Our first tab will allow us to choose the content. So I'm going to choose tech tips, I think. These are older articles that we're going to be looking to revamp now with some of our latest YouTube content. And that's just a good example showing how they come in there. We can then choose to have metadata showing. In this case, I don't really want the date showing on this, so I could either choose different categories. So these two are Squarespace examples. Or in this case, I'm going to keep it really neat and tidy and not have any metadata showing. Okay. Head across to design. And now I can decide to change it from a wall design. The reason these are all uniform is because the images are all to the same ratio. So a wall effect doesn't really have the same look and feel that we're after. So I'm going to change it to lists. And now we've got three items in vertical format, one above the other. We are actually creating another plugin that will allow us to do two rows of lists. So this format, but then one, then two over on the right, then back three, four, five, six, etc. I'm going to change the ratio of these images to widescreen to match the thumbnails themselves. I'm also going to make a couple of little tweaks, make the text size small. And that in itself has made it more compact, which will help it to balance out with the second summary block that we'll add in. So again, choose summary from the list. And I'm just going to bring this over. I'm going to select the page. This time I'm going to select the blog. So by default, it will show the three most recent blog posts. And this time I'm going to select probably my favorite, which is the carousel. It's locked down to three items, but I might put it up to 12, allowing us to flick through. And we can also define how many items per row. I quite like three, it provides a nice balance across the two. The only thing is here, we're probably going to hide our exit just to get the content balancing nicely. Oh, one thing I'd forgotten to do was just to remove that featured title. So again, go back into design and we can see the header text here. Once we've created our summary blocks, we could then add in text blocks above them as well. And then we've got full customization for how we want to display those titles above each summary block. There's a huge amount of flexibility that we can add which is fantastic. And that's why it's one of my favorite features on Squarespace, especially for more detailed, more bespoke websites that we build. Not only we can, can we apply quite a bit of custom code if we wanted to, to really style these as we want, it also provides really dynamic content on any page. Even when we go through to one of these blog posts, we could show related posts at the bottom. Fantastic. Hope you've enjoyed. Play around with the summary block feature. Just as a final sales point, I promise, we have a full module on summary blocks over on the Pixel Haze Box of Tricks series for Squarespace, and that can be found on Udemy or on our Pixel Haze Academy where you can access it, plus all of our other course content, plus have full access to our plugin library for just $60 a year. That sounds pretty good to me. Cheers.